Hey, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be doing a highly requested video on how I diffuse with my Diva Dryer and Diva Fuser. On the Diva Dryer, you will see the cool shot button. Here's the temperature control and this is the speed control. All right, now let's get started. When I begin, I always have my head flipped over and I always start in this back section of hair because it tends to take the longest to dry. I like to use the Diva Fuser and reach it in around my scalp and keep it up at my roots and this is going to make sure that my ends don't dry too fast. I lift each section just to not disturb them and this is going to help to decrease frizz. Because I have highlighted ends, it's very important for me to not let them dry out too fast. When I'm switching sides, you'll notice me do what I call dramatic hair flips, and this is just to keep my hair from rubbing against my back and my shirt as I switch from side to side, and this is going to help to make sure I don't get any tangles or frizz in that bottom area of hair. As my hair starts to get drier, I am moving faster through the sections, but I still follow the same rules. Stay close to my roots, gently lift each section, and always finish that section with the cool shot button before moving on to the next section. As you start to notice more sections of hair getting drier, you can start to focus on the areas that take longer to dry or the areas where you know you have problems with volume at. It's just very important to remember that before moving to the next section, finish with the cool shot button. So once my scalp is dry and my hair is about 50 to 60% dry, I like to flip my head over and gently massage my scalp. When you're doing this, your fingers should not feel wet at all, but this is going to help to lift that hair off your scalp. It's gonna help speed up the drying process, help with definition and help with more volume. Once I do that, I go back to diffusing. And once again, now I'm moving faster through the sections, but following the same rules. Lift those layers. One of the reasons I love the Diva Dryer and Diva Fuser combo so much is that I can rotate the hand and really get angles and shape my hair into the shape that I want so that I have that round shape instead of that flat triangle shape that I used to get. Once my hair starts to feel about 85% dry, I switch to only the cool setting. This is going to help me to really lock in my curls. This helps with shine and of course it helps to avoid damage. This last step is optional for extra volume. I like to take the diffuser off and just really blast my roots. And then of course I have to go in with my pick and pick my roots out and voila, here are my results. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I definitely hope you learned something new. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my Instagram for this amazing giveaway that I'm doing. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Bye.